Hi, welcome to the Staking Geek channel. Glad you're with me. Today we're going to discuss Chainlink, Link, L I N K, and ways we can make passive income holding the Link token through staking or running a node. Let's get right into it. So here I'm on their website. I'm not going to go too far. This is a very technical project, but Chainlink is an ER, Ethereum ERC. 20 token they're an oracle and basically they're they're taking real world data in what let's say web 2 world and bring it into the web 3 world by into a smart contract so that it can be used by several different platforms and and we'll we'll get into that in a few minutes so chain link is ranked 19 at a total market cap i believe it was within the top 10 at, at one point. It, it has its ups and downs price-wise over the years. And right now we're in a bear market. So the price is fairly suppressed. You can buy Chainlink at pretty much any exchange. Chainlink's been around since, I believe, 2017. So it's very well known. Uh, $6 billion market cap. Their volume looks fairly low, but it got up to almost a billion dollars back in mid-February. I feel like there's always news related to Link, but at this point, we'll, we'll, we'll disregard anything here and just continue to move on because there's a lot to talk about with the Link project. There are several Link competitors or different types of oracles on different chains. One of them is the band protocol, which has picked up a lot of interest over the last few months. Another is Tellor, which I'm not completely familiar with, but it is, doesn't even, is not one of the top 500 at this point. Other ones are WitNet, W-I-T, X-Y-O network, Razor network, and Wink Link, which is a data oracle solution uh, for the Tron network. All right, let's discuss high level. I'm not going technical on you. This is a high level overview of Chainlink. All right, I'm not gonna go too far into this article. I just wanted to point some of the highlights out. Uh, there, there, is, there is quite a bit of information on the internet regarding this project. The Chainlink is a decentral oracle that provides a much needed stream of information to the smart contracts that run on various blockchains. This data can range from price feeds, supply chain data management, temperatures, the whole nine yards. It also empowers the Ethereum network and a lot of their dApps. So since Chainlink is in the business of aggregating lots of data to the smart contracts, it looks like Alpha Vantage provides a bunch of data to Chainlink from the Web2 world. So it sounds like Chainlink is a middleman to the crypto world. All right, so let's, let's review high level what are oracles. The oracles are taking real world data from Web 2, from the internet we know today, and interfacing those into smart CAD tracks and decentralized systems. So, some of the other relationships that Chainlink has are with blockchains like Ethereum, uh, Polygon, Hedra, Hashgraph, Binance. Oracles are, are not data sources by themselves. Basically, they collect, query, verify, and validate the data from different sources and deliver them to the smart contracts. So if you wanted to know what Chainlink does in a basic sense, this is, this is it right here. Okay. How do we make passive income holding the link token? Let's get into that. So here I'm on stakingrewards.com and I don't see a, a total stake. Normally it'll give you the amount of 
staked link compared to the amount of tokens that are circulating out there? I don't see that. I think it's because Chainlink started staking for people like me uh, December of last year. So their version 0 0.1 just got released uh, last December, a couple months ago. They've had the node operators up and running for several years, but this staking for the general public has, is fairly new. All right, let's start off with the easy one first. How do we stake Link? So let's go over to their website here, chainlink dot or chain dot link backslash economics backslash staking. And you can learn more about staking by just hitting the learn more button. We're not going to do that today. We want to know how to stake. Like every other project that I've been speaking about, you will need to purchase the link token through an exchange. And from that exchange, you can transfer link over to your MetaMask, right? You'd be on the Ethereum mainnet and you could send your link to this. Once it's sent to your MetaMask, you'll want to add chain link to MetaMask. So you're able to see that under assets. I don't have anything in there right now. So once you have your link inside your MetaMask, you can choose the amount of link you want to stake and hit stake. <laughs> That's that simple. And your current reward is just under 5%. And you can read about the rewards and how they're calculated. And it looks like you're securing or you're help securing the uh, Ethereum USD data feed. And yeah, Ethereum's not doing great right now, but we're in a bear market still, and that will eventually go back up. And it looks like these particular node operators are responding saying, yes, this is the correct amount Ethereum is worth at this particular cycle. All right, that's one way you can make passive income with Chainlink and the Link token. Well, let's discuss how to set up a validator on a high level. This is a very technical project. And, and if we can go back here, run a node operator, your risk medium, I'm not going to get into risk. I'm not even going to talk about in depth how we're going to set up a node. I just want to give you a quick overview and it, it is fairly hard. This is, like I said, this is a very technical project and these, these setting up nodes are only for technical folks and institutions that have those resources. So what is a chain link node operator? Well, it says it here, right in the first line, chain link node operators are the backbone of the chain link network. Here's some quick basis, basic instructions. You want to set up a node. You can run it on your own machine. They will provide the commands and then you've got to deploy an Oracle contract and then you got to add some external adapters and premium APIs, which I'm not going to get into. Like I said, it's very technical. And it's generally for those that have knowledge of this type of environment. Here are the requirements for the nodes. And generally, you want to go a lot higher than the recommended minimum. But I would probably get 32 gigs of RAM. You'll probably get maybe a terabyte of SSD storage. And you probably want, it says four cores. I would probably get eight cores at least. And then you would need to download the Ethereum client. So if I was going to go down this route of setting up a chain link node, this is the reward, 7%. It's a stable project. It's been around for a while. The risks are fairly low, and the reward is, is somewhat lower than the ones we've seen before. If I were to stake link tokens, I would most likely do it the easy way and get the 5%, literally 2.25% less than running a full node. 
And here are, here's a website that is a good resource if you wanted to take a look and see how many nodes are running on what networks. So it looks like there's active 300 nodes. Most of them are on Ethereum. Looks like Polygon's got a big stake of the rewards as, as well as Ethereum. All right, well, I think that's it. Let's just quickly review. If we want to make passive income holding a link token, the recommended way in my mind would be to buy your link on your exchange, transfer it over to a Web3 wall, and from the Web3 wall, you can stake at staking.chain.link, and you'll earn almost 5%. It looks like there's over 22 million link that are being currently staked. And if we go back to here, the total supply is a billion and there's currently 517 million link in circulation. So there's still a lot of link that are out in the market that are not being staked. And I believe it's because the staking is somewhat new. I would have thought this would have been a little bit higher, seeing there's not as much link being staked compared to what's out in the market. And the other way to make passive income, if I guess if you're an institution or a very technical person, would be to run your own node. And I've gone through a high-level overview of how to do that. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content. Please leave me any feedback, suggestions, or any other projects you would like me to focus on. I'd happy to do the research and put out a video on that. Thank you for watching and see you next time.